If you grew up in Fairfax County, you may have heard the legend of the bunny man. The story goes that a murderer wearing a bunny suit stalks a railway bridge in Clifton, Virginia on Halloween night. It may sound far-fetched, but some say the tale is based on real events. Under a bridge on Colchester Road in Fairfax County as a train speeds by overhead. If you believe local lore, this is one of the most dangerous locations in Northern Virginia. Because if you happen to be near this bridge at midnight on Halloween, you could be butchered by the bunny man. The legend of the bunny man begins uh, in the early 20th century where either an asylum for the insane or a prison w was closing. And they had to get the prisoners out and they put them on a bus to transport them. And the bus crashes in the woods between Fairfax Station and Clifton. They were able to find all the prisoners except for one. Uh, his name was Douglas Griffin, according to the legend. And they looked, the community and the police looked and looked and looked for this guy, could not find him. A few weeks go by, months go by, they kind of forget about him. And then uh, along a, a trail in the woods, a series of half-eaten gutted rabbits started showing up, creeped the community out. Uh, then on October 31st, Halloween night, uh, within weeks of finding all these gutted bunny rabbits, a bunch of kids were hanging out underneath uh, Fairfax Station Bridge, which is still there today. And uh, the several different legends, one says that uh, there was an orb, one says that, the, that it just was blackout. But either way, the next morning, police found a bunch of kids hanging from this bridge, gutted and half-eaten like the rabbits they had found weeks earlier. It's been said that every urban legend is based on a kernel of truth. And Brian Conley is the guy who set out to find that truth. Conley is an archivist for the Fairfax County government. In the 90s, he worked for the county's library system as a historian. And people kept coming in and asking if the bunny man was real. Here's how Conley says it began. In 1970, a couple was parked in a driveway not far from the train overpass when they had a terrifying encounter. Someone appeared very quickly, uh, yelled something having to do with trespassing, and threw a hatchet at the car. They did not get a very good look at the person, and all they really got was dressed in white or light-colored clothing and may or may not have had something on his head. <laughs> Later that month, also in October 1970, uh, a security officer was called to a new, a recently built house in the same, about the same area of a guy also in a bunny suit with a hatchet trying to chop down uh, like a column at the house. And the police, the security officer yelled at him what he was doing, yelled at him and asked him what he was doing. And again, the guy in the bunny suit says, get off, or he said something to the effect of leave or I don't want you here and then ran off into the woods. Uh, worth noting though, so none of the actual incidents from 1970 took place at Fairfax Station Bridge. Um, they were not even that particularly that close, like several miles apart. So the belief is, is that it was a creepy looking bridge, this legend, and they got mushed together just because they're sort of close by. Within a few years, kids were swapping stories about a man in a bunny suit chasing children through the woods with a hatchet. Today, the Bunny Man legend has traveled far beyond Fairfax County. There are Bunny Man t-shirts, Bunny Man beer. So there's, a, I guess, a rumor or myth or legend, I guess, that uh, Donnie Darko, which is a movie that came out, you know, 15, 20 years ago, uh, the director is from the area and took some of the legend of the bunny man and put it in the movie and that's why Jake Gyllenhaal's character is haunted by a guy in a rabbit suit. Uh, the movie's super creepy. There's also that every Halloween, the town of Clifton uh, fully embraces this legend and does like a haunted trail festival um, where at the end you, the bunny man comes and gets you. There are some people out there that are convinced that the story as it is told is true and that Myself and Fairfax County are trying to cover something up. <laughs> so there's, there are factual inaccuracies in the actual uh, legend. However, the truth with these Washington Post articles and the police reports are super weird. And it's, to me, it's fascinating that uh, this actually happened and transformed into something that everyone, this urban legend. But that the fact that these things 
At least reported by the newspaper of record, the Washington Post, that a man in a bunny suit freaked out people by throwing hatchets at them and taking an axe to a house. That's weird and creepy. And uh, I, you know, I, be I believe it. <laughs> Residents do not want people there. It has a lot more to do with the fact that, uh, like I said, two decades ago, teenagers would hang out there and they still do, drinking or, you know, doing what teenagers do. And uh, residents don't want that, obviously. Also, it's actually practically dangerous. Like, it's, it's actually dangerous uh, because there's a railroad track on top. It is not a pleasant place to be in the middle of the night. Um, it's dark. There's not many, there's no street lights. It's not densely populated. It's the woods. And it's a creepy bridge with a, uh, a railroad track on top. So to this day, on Halloween night, if you go to Bunny Man Bridge, the same thing could happen to you like it did the, in those teenagers 100 years ago. That is the legend of the Bunny Man.